In this video, we'll explore number one, prevention measures to be taken before hazards occur, number two, mitigation measures to be taken after hazards occur, number three, first aid to perform. As a Suramitra solar PV installer who is mostly at field, it is important to learn and practice prevention and mitigation measures and giving first aid. This is must for your own safety and for people around you. Let's learn some general preventive measures in accordance with the solar PV installation procedure. Number 1. Identify and understand the company policies required for workplace safety. Number 2. Identify the individual to contact if some accident happens. Number 3. Identify the requirements of safe work. Number 4. Implement the safe workflow procedure. Number 5. Use and maintain personal protective equipment. PPE. Number 6. Know the location of first aid box. Number 7. Read and understand the proper usage of tools and equipment. Number 8. Do proper tagging and markings of equipment. Number 9. Add labels or warning signs wherever required for the benefit of technicians as well as customer. After learning the general preventive measures, observe and understand these component or procedure specific preventive measures to be taken during installation of solar PV system. First is for safe handling of battery. Number 1. Here you can see the wrong and the right ways to lift a battery. Using correct posture to lift a battery is important to prevent causing injury to back and spine. Number 2. Ensure that the battery chemicals do not spill by keeping it straight and horizontal. Next is safe lifting and handling of PV modules on the rooftop. When lifting the pallets of PV modules onto the rooftop, be sure that the roof can support the additional dead weight load of these pallets and that load is distributed evenly. Correct equipment to be used for safe lifting and handling of modules. Adequately sized project teams are formed for easy handling of modules. Lifting equipment is maintained at a safe speed to avoid accident. If the modules are lifted manually onto the rooftop, ensure that the path is sanitized and cleared for any physical obstacles. Use of safety lanyard while working at height is to be ensured always. Next is knowing the responsibilities of the installation contractor. Number 1. The installation contractor is responsible for reading and understanding all drawing, component and inverter manual prior to installation. Number 2. All component required to have switches of position and fuses removed prior to the installation of fuse bearing system components. Despite all precautions and preventions, there are chances of hazards happening. Hence, it is important for all solar PV installers to learn and practice important mitigation measures and giving first aid that should be done immediately after the occurrence of hazards. Let us learn the basic 7 steps for mitigation. Number 1. Maintain composure and separate victim from cause of hazard. Do not panic. Number 2. Wash the injuries and wounds with clean water. Number 3. Apply first aid on burns or injuries and wounds. Different first aid materials are used for different kinds of wounds. Number 4. Apply sodium hydroxide NaOH solution when burns are due to batteries acid. Do not wash burns with water. Number 5. 
take the injured person to medical room or a safe place. Number six, look for the supervisor, project manager or any other official contact person in case of hazards. And lastly, number seven, call the doctor or medical officer. In addition to these seven steps, a solar PV installer must be able to use tools and sources of information for referring to general guidelines over and above the compliances specified by the organization. Some of these safety standards are specified in codes by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration OSHA. Additionally, knowing about common types of fire and use of extinguisher is a must. Causes of fire are divided into three categories. Number one, caused by ordinary combustibles like paper, wood, rubber, plastics and textiles. Number two, caused by flammable liquids such as oil, petrol and solvents. Number three, caused by electrical equipment including all gadgets running on electric current. Fire extinguishers are very important safety equipment. Their common features should be learnt and usage must be practiced. Steps to operate fire extinguishers. Step 1. Pull the pin. Step 2. Aim low at the fire. Step 3. Squeeze the lever. Step 4. Swipe from side to side slowly. Hence, doing these seven steps of mitigation measures and practicing first aid right after the occurrence of hazards such as injuries, burns and falls can save life.